Hey, what's going on? This is your digital hustler, Trey Murphy. And today I want to talk to you about creating quiz funnels. Stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to talk about how to create quizzes and click funnels. And quizzes are really important because it's a good way to kind of like massage your customers into a good buying frame of mind. Um, it can help uh, push customers to thinking yes by the type of questions that you ask them. Like, uh, do you want to make money? Yes. Uh, is this product that I'm offering something that you're looking for? Yes. And, you, and if you keep making your customers say yes over and over again, then when you ask them to buy something, they're already kind of like got the mindset of saying yes and boom, you got to sell. Now, creating a, uh, a quiz in ClickFunnels can maybe seem challenging at first, but I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. Let's uh, hop into my computer and take a look, shall we? All right, now, uh, this is one of my test funnels that I have in ClickFunnels, so please uh, dismiss all of this other stuff. I've used that in other examples. I've kind of halfway created a quick little uh, quiz in here. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this is more just for an example of showing you how to create one more so than the full-on functionality. So I want to go ahead and reveal that this actual a uh, quiz has not been tested. So I came up with some quick headlines. I'm ready for more ready for more financial freedom. New cheat sheet reveals how the experts live a laptop lifestyle. And in this particular funnel, uh, as we will see, let's take a quick preview of it real quick. Uh, if we click the button, uh, are you currently making money online? Let's say yes. Uh, how much extra money would you like to make per month? 500. We, how much time in a week do you have to make money? Let's say two to three hours. Analyzing results, you see this cool little bar pop up. And all of that information that I just gathered from all of that is going to do oh, a couple of things. It's either going to send all of that information to a pixel that's either in Facebook or in your Google, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Google Analytics, and therefore it'll, um, put those particular answers in certain groups so that you can understand what your customers want. Uh, it can also uh, send your customer over to another website so that they can purchase whatever it is that you're selling, whatever product or service. Uh, as you can see, this quiz funnel didn't all the way complete and it's still stuck on analyze your results because I didn't complete it because we're gonna hopefully try and do some of that right now. So let's go back to where it is in ClickFunnels, and let's take a look, get a deeper look at it. So we'll go over here, we'll click the gear icon, so we can take a look inside of the actual quiz itself. Oh, well, hold on, before I do that, let me show you where it is. So let's go here, let's go add a new element, and if you go to add a new element, and if you scroll all the way down to right about here where it says survey, and you click that, a new survey will pop up and then you'll have the same options here that we'll be showing you as you do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that real quick and let's go take a look inside of this survey. All right, so we're gonna click the gear icon and we're gonna to go to some of the edit survey options, okay? Now in here, this is where we're gonna have a list of all of the questions that we're going to be using within our survey. So the three that you saw, are you currently making money online? How much extra money would you like to make uh, per month or per week or however it is and how much time per week do you have to make money? These are three different questions and all of these questions can be moved around based on uh, what their importance are. All you have to do is move this little lever right here and click funnels will automatically adjust it as you can see. Uh, if you need to add another question, uh, you can click this button right here. It gives you the multiple choice. Hit create and we can say, uh, are you happy? with your current job. Let's just make this really simple. Answer and we'll put yes, add another answer and then we'll have another one right here and we'll say no, okay? Now, within these questions, you have the option to put a subtitle underneath it. Um, it can be something to explain the question in just a little bit more detail and it'll pop up underneath that line. Uh, let's just put it, let's say, uh, 
Would you rather be working someone else? Would you rather be working someplace else? All right. Now you also are given the option to create thumbnails and these thumbnails are little tiny pictures that are a little bit more visually stimulating for the customer. It can give them a good idea of exactly what it is that you're talking about as it concerns to the question. Um, and this is typically will take you to um, right here as you see it pop here and then you'll click this and it'll take you to the area in your library to show you all of the pictures that you could use to associate with that picture okay and uh, the buttons that are used it could be square lettered numbered high you can hide them um, square just so as it says, it says it's gonna be a little square box instead of a circle uh, lettered A, B, C, and D, uh, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, or you can just hide all of it all together. Now, based on the answers that are given within these questions, you can have these, uh, you can have your customer or whoever it is that's taking the survey go to a different um, random place uh, or a new website. Uh, there's a various other different options, but that's going to be more in, in the outcome section that we're going to come to. For now, these answers right now will just go to the next question. As you can see, we only have two options, and that is to go to the next question or to end the survey in general, because maybe you've gotten all the information you need and you can just stop the whole process of them continuing to take the survey. And you can continue to add answers. Right now, we just have yes and no. So for now, we're going to go back and we have this fourth question Are you happy with your current job? Now, out of all of this, uh, let's see, you can put all of your questions into a specific group. So let's just say you have a larger questionnaire and you have one that just wants to talk about uh, affiliate marketing. You have just the questions just for affiliate marketing or you can have a group of questions that deal with email marketing, uh, for example, for those particular examples. And now triggers. This is the one where it's going to get a little bit more technical. Now, in order to do triggers, uh, successfully you have to already have your Facebook pixel set up or your Google Analytics in your tag manager already set up so that the information that your customer or whoever it is that is taking the survey can automatically get sent to Google Analytics or Google Facebook and either one of those platforms will take that information and then segment it so that you'll know whatever it is that you're tracking from that question you know maybe you're tracking people that only want to buy red purses and you want to find out how many people that take this survey are interested in red purses you know I'm, I'm just shooting from the hip but you can fine-tune all of the uh, all of the answers that the people who take the survey put into your survey uh, Finally is, uh, not finally, but outcomes is the next one. Now, remember when I said earlier that based on the question that they ask, a uh, certain action can, can come from it. Um, as you can see, we clicked into outcomes. We, create, we clicked on a new one, and let's just say we're going to add a condition. It's going to show you a list of all of the questions that you've currently made. Are you currently making money online? How much extra money would you like to make per month? All of this, whatever the question is, uh, you can tell them where to go let's just say they want to make ten thousand plus more dollars per per month these conditions will trigger a certain type of action so you can either have it so that if they click a certain answer the page can either uh, redirect and go someplace else instant page redirect so it'll automatically go to another page uh, it can hide the survey altogether. It'll submit the form so that you can get all of the information or it can open a pop-up and say you need to like collect the email. Uh, this just pretty much tells you where you want that person to go if it's a particular website. Uh, the loading text is what is going to be said while it gives you the, the loading animation and also the subtext underneath it is just more like fine-tune what it is that's being said. So depending on what you want to do with these surveys, they can be pretty powerful. You can do a lot of stuff with them, uh, especially if you're just trying to fine tune certain things uh, regarding the questions that you're asking. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and then finally, the settings. And that is showing your progress bar, which is what's shown at the top, or you can hide it. I like showing the progress bar because it kind of like gives one more um, little piece of, of harumph and go ahead and harumph <laughs> that's just sounds stupid but uh it, it keeps what i mean to say is that it keeps the customer uh engaged um 
let's see uh let's see next button you can make a button or an image is the next button for your survey so that's just kind of like to give your customer whoever it is that's taking the the survey a little bit more engagement as well uh the style options you'll have to leave this all together to go into the themes and advanced tab settings um to fine tune how your survey looks and that's going to do everything from changing uh the pixel size of the of the letters and the fonts to where they move within the margins I'll, I'll show you as soon as we get out of here it's really simple uh and then the facebook pixel and google tag manager is what i said earlier regarding some of the triggers uh, you have to have all of those tracking codes or that pixel or the google tag manager or whatever it is that you're using to insert inside of the website so that all of that information can be sent to either Google or sent to Facebook. All right, so that's pretty much the, the overall gist of everything. Uh, if we wanted to take a look into the advanced settings, like I said earlier, uh, this is just what I was saying earlier. You can line the questions if you need it to be in the center or if you need it to be on the left side. You know, as you can see, it's moving. Um, question size, uh, you can make it bigger. You know, all, all of this stuff is pretty is pretty self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, it's a very powerful tool. Um, if you want to kind of like get your customers or whoever it is that's taking the survey in the right frame of mind so that it makes it easier for you to buy your product or service or, or be a part of whatever the information that you're trying to exchange, uh, this is a very good way of warming that traffic up. It's a good way of warming cold traffic up so that you're not just hitting them over the head with, with something brand new. Uh, I hope this answered a, a whole lot of your questions. Hey man, this is Trey Murphy, the Digital Hustler. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you can get more information regarding all of the tools and, and cool things that are necessary in order to be a part of this internet marketing world and sphere that we're in. Um, I love doing this. I'm still learning as we go and finding success. And when I find success, I like to just uh, put it out on the, on the page so that you can find success. Um, stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.